The world of infamous Second Son is so beautiful. You will be mesmerized much like I was when first exploring the streets of the dense city of Seattle. <laughs> The first thing you see when starting up a new game is the graphics, how the game looks. Before fully getting your hands on the powers and attributes, you want it to not only feel good, but look good. Infamous Second Son captures this perfectly. The lighting and style of the graphics really brings to life the core of the game, all using the power of the PlayStation 4. While some may not like the semi-realistic graphical style of Second Son, others might greet it with open arms. The story of infamous Second Son follows Delson, his brother Reggie, and some conduit companions. Unlike the other games in the series involving Cole and his travels, Delson's story appears rather subpar and doesn't deliver the same amount of good storytelling as the others do. Upon completing the game, you don't feel as satisfied, and the karmic decisions don't feel as heavy. Oh yes, karmic decisions do make a return in Second Son, but don't deliver as well as they did in the other games. Infamous 1 had karmic moments with weight and likability. Infamous 2 ditched the moments and replaced them with missions for each path. Second Son has karmic moments only when meeting someone or deciding another person's fate. While some might think that you don't need strong comment moments, I think they are what drive the story in infamous games. The most important thing in any infamous game, how it plays, how it works, how you are going to take advantage of your conduit powers. In Second Son, there are four powers at your disposal, smoke, neon, video, and concrete. My personal favorite was Neon, where you can sprint at incredible speeds in a light path, shoot laser beams at foes, and even unleash a storm of deadly Neon rays. Smoke allows you to teleport around, using vents and roofs for you to travel around the city. The attacks used are directed more towards good karma, and offer less abilities for evil karma players. Video uses the strength of technology to throw swords, turn invisible, and summon angel companions. Concrete introduces nothing really special to all of it, very similar to smoke, just in a more solidified state. As all other Sucker Punch games do, the controls are extremely responsive and feel crisp compared to some other free roam games. The nice part is, karma takes a part in combat, letting you decide if you want to be a good boy and subdue or heal, rather than being evil and killing or draining of life. In conclusion, Infamous Second Son is able to take full advantage of all the PlayStation Force power to deliver you a wonderful superhero or supervillain experience. If you want something to waste time with abusing powers in a densely populated city of Seattle, then look no further. For this game, graphics, I give a 9.2. Story, a 7.5. Gameplay, an 8.5. As my final verdict, I give Infamous Second Son on the PlayStation 4 an 8.4 out of 10. This has been Zach from Two Awesome Gamer Guys, and I'm signing off.